This is a, a science fair that we, we put on every year at the end of the year and the students work in groups in their class to come up with their own original idea uh -huh. and um, develop their own project using the scientific method and then this it culminates with this science fair. Uh -huh. So the kids like it a lot? I think they do like it. I think it's a good way to end the year. They're working in groups and they, um, they're doing their own work so it's really like self-driven. Nice Can I interview you? Okay. Hi. Can you tell me a little bit about your project? Okay, well, our question was, um, which fries would mold first? We had homemade french fries and then out french fries, McDonald's french fries, these french fries and our hypothesis was that uh, the homemade french fries would mold first because there were there weren't any chemicals or preservatives in them and um, our hypothesis ended up correct and we also found out when we did some research that the grease helped it and what was really weird mean the, mean the grease encouraged Encourage the molding. The mold. Oh, it stopped the mold. So, which was kind of yeah. And McDonald's, we observed for seven days, uh -huh. and McDonald's didn't mold at all. It was it just got really hard and stale. Uh huh. Um, and so that was kind of that kind of tells you how bad for you that is. But so how long were the how long were they edible? Um, they all looked edible for at least two days, uh -huh. and then it started getting, uh, like, after the third day, homemade, the home, homemade uh, french fries started to mold, uh -huh. and then after that, they just kind of went in disorder. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay, so the homemade, went, went, they molded first. Which ones tasted better? We didn't eat them. Oh, okay. You didn't even eat them when they were... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So does that make you feel like you want to eat McDonald's then? No. I will never eat them again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired of French fries for now? Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Of course. Do you have any kind of, what, what's your science uh, project all about? It's about um, Sprite and Fanta Soda. Which one will blow up a blue faster? And Sprite won in our first example, but this is our different soda because when I went to the store, they didn't have the right ones. Uh huh. And um, um, Sprite has more Sprite has more gas than Fanta soda, so that means it's better than orange soda. So how did you figure out what's what's your procedure for putting the balloons on to make sure you get all the the fizz? Um, place soda on ground or table. Open pack of balloons. Shake Sprite really for hard three times. Open cap for 30 seconds. Repeat one through five steps for orange soda. Uh-huh. And that's how we got it. So which oh so in the picture you can see that yeah. this one had a lot more in it, huh? Yep. So does that make it taste better? Which one tastes better? I think that Sprite tastes better. My friend chose Sam. He chose Fanta. Uh-huh. Because that, that's his favorite soda. Is it more fun to drink if it has more more bubbles in it? It hurts your throat, that's it. No, just go ahead and just tell me a little bit about your project and what's going on. So our question was um, which was smarter a hamster or a mouse? And we thought a mouse would be smarter because it has um, stronger instincts because more than live in the wild. In our times, the mouse got 6.48 and 6.39. Two times it didn't make it, and one time it just went into this corner and didn't move at all. It started grooming itself. And then on the hamster, I think it got 235, 204, 142, 104, and on the 24 seconds, it went straight through and didn't hit a single dead end. So what? 
So which one is the, fa the smartest one then? Um, the hamster. The hamster yeah, smarter? Yeah, Laura gets stung every time. I lost it by about nine seconds, but I think it just got bored. I didn't want to try anymore. Were they both, um, they're both raised like in captivity? Yeah. They're both the domesticated? Hi, can I interview you? Is this your project? Yeah, uh, me and my partner. My partner's not here. Oh, okay. That's okay. You can just tell me about it. What's the project about? Um, it's about pads and tampons. Uh -huh. Which one is more absorbent? Uh, we thought the pads, I mean the tampons would be more absorbent because it's much more thicker and that would uh -huh. be longer. But the pads one, yeah. They're much more bigger. And to test it, we put it in water for like five minutes. And then after that, we took it out and poured the rest into a graduated cylinder. And, and subtracted it from the original amount to find out how much it actually absorbed. Uh -huh. So here's our results. Um, you see that the super pad, we use supers and regulars. Uh -huh. Alright, so what did you learn about most about your project? Um, I learned what, what they were made of. Um, this is made out of cotton and rayon. This is made out of something like paper, but it has holes which help absorb uh -huh. water. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about your project. Our project is about um, rotting teeth, like which liquid would rot the teeth more. Right? Okay. And our hypothesis was we think soda will because people, when you go to the dentist, people are always saying stuff like if you drink too much soda, your teeth will rot. Uh huh. So that's why we think soda will rot your teeth more. And how we did that is we put one tooth in each cup and then we waited for seven days and we wrote down our observations. So, like the first and second day, nothing really happened. Uh huh. But the third, fourth, they started to get like spots and started to get darker, but from day four through day seven, they started to get even darker. Like this one right here, it started to get more spots, but day seven for the soda, it started to get really dark. Uh huh. So we recommend not to drink too much soda or your teeth will kind of be looking like that. Uh huh. And if you drink too much vodka, your teeth will be really white. Like. That kind of white. I mean, it actually whitened your teeth? Yeah, but it's like, it looks like someone just got like white out and white, whitening your teeth. So, we recommend don't drink oh, no. So, they have to be okay. really hungry to eat an earthworm then? I guess. Which one's better, better food for them, do you know? I think crickets because. Do you think the crickets, because they can jump really high, if the frogs eat a lot of crickets, and they can jump high too? It's like crickets, apparently. <laughs> or, okay. or maybe the crickets just taste like it's been cooked and it's crunchy, so uh -huh. it might taste better. Oh, okay, you like the crunch, do you like crunchy food better? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. Ready? Can you tell me a little bit about your project? Oh, our project is we want to find out faster in the hot? Yeah. yeah. And we wonder why it ran faster and we do some further research and scientists say that mouse use less of their energy in cold so they're slower and more of their energy in hot so they're faster. Do you think maybe that their feet were just hot because they were burning and they were maybe that made them run fast? So. Yeah, maybe the 
like, um, <laughs> like you know when you run on the sand? Yeah, it gets hot. It gets hot. I think it's like rubbery, so it won't be that hot. Uh -huh. And um, I usually, I think we can run because they have a big sack of fur around them, so they get really hot and they need to get out. So that's uh -huh. why they're Okay. So they're. So you found out through research that they do go faster when it's warm out? We put ice on all of this. Alright, thank you very much.